Hello guys, how are you today? I am happy to be here with you again in these online classes. So let's start with the daily routine. Yesterday was, where is it? Tuesday. Uh, today is Wednesday and tomorrow will be Thursday. Our date is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Uh, the weather, the weather is well sunny, sometimes it's windy, a little bit in the morning, very very in the morning, cloudy, but very sometimes, but the majority of the day is, um, the, the day is wind, sunny. Uh, the temperature is still warm, hot and booming hot, so I hope that we have fresh days, cool days, but I don't think so. And the season is a spring. How are you feeling today? See, I have a new picture, uh, new emotions. So I am feeling happy. I am feeling excited also because it's the middle of the week and we are doing an excellent work. I am happy because I am talking to you in this way, but. I know that you listen to me and I am happy that you are okay. I hope, really, really, I hope that you are doing okay in your houses. Okay? Let's continue. Bye bye with this. Our schedule for today is mental math, language, we're going to see future versus going to, uh, sorry, will versus going to, and we're going to start the lesson too. So, where is it? Today we're going to do our mental math a little different. You are going to go to your page 168. You are going to write the date. Write the date in this box. This is the box that we're going to use today. Or the ones that you are using, doesn't matter. And this is the exercise. This exercise is very similar to one of the exercises that we saw in the AMCO home schooling classes when this Moses guy was talking about patterns, remember? So here I have three numbers, 20, 24, and 28. I am adding a number. Do you discover what is that number that I am adding? Yeah, it is 4. So if I add 24 plus, sorry, 28 plus 4, my answer is 32. If I add 32 plus 4, my answer is going to be 36. If I add 4 to 36, my answer is going to be 40. If I add 4 to 40, my answer is going to be 24. And then adding 4 is going to be 48 and so on but you're going to do only 1, 2, 3, 4 in every number okay that's the way you're going to do the homeschooling today is about patterns, sequences all of them are additions you need to discover what is the number that we are adding each time okay when you finish well Copy this, copy these numbers in your book and then do solve them and then remember take a picture because I will need it to check. Let's continue. Language future. We have two different futures, will and going to. So first see the video because the video is going to explain you a lot uh, about these two different kinds of future because yes we have two types of future i can say i will help you or i will go to the cinema with my friends this friday okay so when you check the video go to the page 88 please and 89 let's go to the pages and here we have future tenses will and going to we use will and going to to talk about the future and to state intentions and predictions. This is very important. We use will to express a voluntary action or a promise. 
for example, a voluntary action. Um, I will help you. I will clean the room or I will do my best. That sounds like a promise, actually. A promise when somebody is asking, for example, the teacher, me, I am asking you to study for your exams and you say, yes, teacher, we will study for your exams. So that is like a promise. Going to is less formal. We use it to talk about future plans and intentions. Future plans is like dates, when you have a date or when you have an appointment, when you have to go to see to the doctor, I will go to the dentist um, on Friday, I will go to the doctor next month or I will go to the, port to the party of my best friend next Sunday, for example. So those are future plans. Okay, and intentions, I am going to do my best in the exam next time, because maybe this one is not good, next time I will do my best. Or in a competition, the competition is over, you got the second place, and you say, okay, I will practice more, I will, sorry, I'm going to practice more, I'm going to win the first place for the next for the next competition so that it's an intention and we place it e we place it after the verb to be we have examples here the movie will start at 8 o'clock we are going to the movies on Saturday night going to it is very important to use this going on the two and of course the verb to be are because if we don't use the R, if we say only we going to move the movies on Saturday, it's totally incorrect. Because we have to follow the structure. That is explained in the video. Remember, you saw the video. Okay, over here we are going to write, will or going to, on the lines to complete the sentences. So I will do, I will do the first two for you. Okay, I mm, need to wear my sneakers to school today. So what are you going to use? Oh my god, it erased. Okay, I think it's I will need to wear my sneakers to school today. Okay, the second, I am, um, we have the am um here, so what do you think we need to use? exactly going to that's also a clue going to wash the dishes but you the other one will swept the floor be very careful and pay attention because when you see the verb to be means that you have to use going to okay very attentive Okay, that is on the first activity when you finish, uh, write the date and send me the picture. We have more examples. Future tense will and going to. When we want to talk about something that will happen in the future, we write will or going to before the verb. Remember to write the verb to be before going to. This is what I mentioned in the other example. This exercise is so easy. Rewrite the sentences using will and going to. So let me do the first in order to help you. I study very hard for next week's ex. With will. I will study very hard for the next week. Exam. Okay. And with going to. I am going to study very hard for the next week's exam. 
Ay, sorry. X, um. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What was that? Okay, done. So, uh, this is a way that you're going to solve this exercise. They are very easy. Only three sentences more. And let's see. Write five sentences using will and going to about things you think you will do three years from now. Be sure to use will and going to at least two times each. Then, bueno, you're not going to share it with the class, you're going to share it with me. The thing is that you're going to write five sentences. Let me show you the complete page. You're going to write five sentences. Maybe two with will and three with going to, or vice versa, or the way that you want. But you have to use will and going to. About things, about things you think you will do three years from now. So from today, in three years, what you will be doing or what are you going to do? Okay, guys? Remember? Write the date and when you finish, send me the picture of this activity and this activity and this other activity. Okay? Let's see. Okay, English skills lesson two. We're going to need the tracks six and seven. I will send you the tracks and we are going to work in the page 21, 22, 23, and 24. So let's search the pages. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is it. Lesson two. Hey, if you are able to see the tongue twister practice, tongue twisters are so cool. And uh, here is it. Track six and track seven. We're going to start with the track six. In the track six, or with the track six. First, listen to track six and identify the words. Only listen and identify the words. Okay. Second, listen to track six and number the words. In this time, you are going to be able to number the words according to the audio. And of course, where is it? Find the missing word. And the third, listen to track six and repeat your words. Okay? Listen and repeat. Then you're going to use the track seven. Because remember, it's a different order. Fourth, listen track seven and underline the words in the sentences. So you're going to listen and you're going to underline slopes, ridge, sandstone, etc., etc., etc. Okay, okay. Uh, fifth, listen track seven again and number again the words. Why again? Because remember, track six and track seven have a different order. When you finish that, we are going to answer working with sounds. Listen to the words list again and practice your pronunciation. Well, remember, you have to do it. Listen first. Well, again, and um, then write the correct words in the blanks below. Okay, to help you with this one, I have to move over here. And uh, here is it. Okie dokie, over here says, which words have a long E sound? How sounds E? Actually, like I'm like the way I am saying E, like meat. E. E. Okay, so from all your words, uh, slope, bridge, uh, blend, realize, granary, granary, I think granary is one of our answers. So you write here, gra granary. Okay, I need to copy because we're going to answer another. Okie dokie, number two. Which words have a long sound like slow? Alright, let's see. Uh, 
sandstone sandstone so this is a long o sound so you write over there sandstone okay i'm not going to give you that one because it's only two okay which words have a silent e what means a silent e that you don't pronounce let's see our list mm, slopes for example here the first one slopes you don't pronounce the e actually you pronounce the s l o p s slopes okay so that one that is a that means this one when you don't pronounce slopes okay the other which words have a z sounds like in zoo well this is so easy over a z sound realize okay it's easy uh, number five, which words have a hard G sound, like in good? So, which one have a G sound? Granary. Mm, and if I tell you another, I give you all the answers. No, no, no. Uh, which word ends with a P? We, what is a word that has a P at the end? Ah, well, it's so easy. Check it. I'm not going to give you the answer. And uh, which words have one syllable? Remember, one syllable, the way that we um, sub divide the words. For example, um, grammar. Grammar is two syllables. Okay. Memorize. Memorize, three syllables. And uh, for example, long. Long is only one syllable because I don't have it. I don't do any pause. So, let's check in your words which ones are one syllable. Okie dokie. So, that's what you have to do in this page working with the sounds. Our next page, you know how to do this one. Explain to your parents if, you, if they don't get it. But over here, I write the answers. Page 23. Listen any track. You can listen track 6 or track 7, the one that you want. Doesn't matter. And write the words in the step 1. So you listen the the track and you write your words here. Pim, 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 pim. Then you turn your book upside down and you copy the words from here in the step 2 but with colors. Okay? Do it with colors and with your normal hand, not with the one that you don't use to write, with your normal hand. Okay, guys, um, our last activity, you can do it. On a scramble the words and write them on the lines, then find them in the word search. I have to go here because I have this exercise. So I will do this one. C-K-O-R-Y. Uh, is well rocky okay dokie and then we have to underline well I will underline it I I see it for over here rocky okay I say with color so I put it orange you do it in your book and that's all for today yeah that's all for today send me the picture of this page with the date send me the picture of this page with the date also about this one with the date and also about this one with the date because I need to check if you number correctly your words ok ok guys so remember the notes and uh, to write the date on the page in the pages send a picture of all your done works and remember to send your works before 6 p.m. Okay, guys, is all for today. See you tomorrow with more activities. Have a good evening. Ciao, ciao.